All right, fam, so we are back at it again with another crazy video. Now, in today's video, I know I'm a little, I'm a little behind. I'm a little behind. I wouldn't say I'm, uh, I wouldn't say I'm necessarily like behind behind, but I'm a couple days late on this little topic or whatnot, but this is Ryan Garcia who exposes everything in the industry. And you got a lot of people saying that he's crazy, he's delusional, he's this, he's mental, he's acting like another Kanye. Bro, we be so blind when people that's already in the industry come out and tell us what's happening in the industry. We be so blind to it, we don't want to believe it, but yet we sit behind closed doors and say, oh, you know that the industry's so messed up. But then when the artists or the boxers or people that's in Hollywood feel come out and tell us what's really happening, we look and say, oh, they are, they're delusional, they're mental. We don't know what we want, okay? We truly don't know what we want, man. We really need to get it together. But without further ado, man, hit the like button, subscribe to no post notifications. Let's get it. Let's go. I came here to talk not as I'm frantic or chaotic or whatever, you know, people may assume that I am mentally ill. What, what did they say? I'm going through a manic episode or um, what, whatever they came about to, to, to try to to try to make what I was saying, which was the truth, seem like it was a lie. They're trying to create confusion within the people to make it seem that anything I said was a lie. Everything I said was the truth. And with that being said, I am going to now enter this live with prayer. Father in heaven, I just want you to guide me, Lord. Guide me with your Holy Spirit, Lord, the spirit of truth, that I say nothing but the truth. So help me God, Lord, please, Lord, let me not say one lie, Lord. All I ask is that you, you, don't, you don't let me say one lie, Lord, that you let me defend the children that are hurting across the whole world, Lord, and that the experience I experience, the experiences that so many kids experience around the world, Lord, that you shine light on it and that you give me strength, you give me power only through you, Lord. Let the Lord's will be done, not mine. Okay, so with that being said, I'm not doing this for clout. I'm not doing this for anything. This does nothing for my fight. This is just me trying to give the facts and the truth of what I've seen throughout the years. And during this point and this time, there's a lot of eyes on me and I'm bringing awareness for the kids, the little kids that are hurting. I know you guys seen that video. I'm not even gonna say the name but you know what I'm talking about. It starts with the J. And I'm trying to be as, I'm trying to be as calm as I can. Trust me, I'm trying to be as calm as I can. And I'm trying to be as safe as I can, but, but there will be a time. My why, it, last fight was for my son, Henry. I wanted to fight for him and, and that's what I give the fight to. This time, it's for the children around the world. I'm gonna give you guys some facts, since some people want some facts. Three fast facts, and I got a paper here because everybody likes facts, they want papers, right? Everybody wants the proof, okay. Well, let's go into, this is surface level proof. This is, this is common knowledge if you're really paying attention. Okay. The first fact, with human trafficking, including sex trafficking, the global industry of human trafficking, including child sex trafficking, is estimated to be worth 150 billion annually. That's crazy, that's crazy. 150 billion annually. Do you understand what that means? I don't even know how much Amazon is worth. But if this is worth 150, 150 billion, I mean, it's about time we start paying attention for the children. Number two, globally, the International Labor Organization estimates that 1.2 million children are trafficked each year. 1.2 million children are trafficked each year. Around the world. Around the whole world. The US, in particular, where we live, where I live, the US is the number one nation in the world for consuming child sex material. Now, those are the three facts. And, and I already know about this. I'm gonna go a little deep. 
No, don't worry. I'm not gonna go into too deep stuff because at the end of the day, I got a lot of people telling me not to do this. A lot of people. You gotta understand the pressure I have. A lot of people are asking, can you guys stop, stop trying to join the live, please. I'm trying to speak facts right now. But let them know you're trying to leverage your okay. platform. And of course I'm trying to leverage my platform. For what? For the kids. Amen. So, dude, they're putting hats on me. I'm being serious right now. <laughs> At the end of the day, I got a lot of people that told me not to do this. That it's going to get bad for me. I don't care. I live for God. I don't live for anybody else. I'm going to touch this really quick. Really, really quick. The rules of satanic worship is it needs to be in your plain sight. That's all I'm going to say. So everything that I'm saying is right in front of your face. And you're not doing anything about it. You're not doing anything about it. I'm screaming to the world, putting my reputation on the line. I got people wanting to cancel the fight. People telling me I need to go to a mental rehab to pit me into the psych ward because I'm speaking the truth. Please help me and you help the children. You know, Jeffrey Epstein ain't the only island. Think about that. They do horrible things together so they don't snitch against each other and they're rich so they hold each other accountable. If you, if you say something, I'm gonna say something and everything comes down. Think about it. Let them, let them know about okay. your foundation you wanna start too. And I'm starting my foundation, Save the Children. Also release the truth, nonprofit, I don't want anything. Have I asked for one dollar from any of you guys? Have I made a dollar from anything I'm saying? If anything, I've probably lost money. It's crazy that you lost money for speaking the truth and trying to save children. What sane world do we live in? We, it, it's insanity for telling the truth now in a, in a world full of lies. Everybody went crazy when I said Bohemian Grove, and I'm not going to get into that. But it's the truth. And, and I'm hurt every day because... They have tried everything in their power to stop me. And God pulled me through. As you see the rough three days I went through, but God brought me out of it. And you see how more clear I am and everything I'm saying. All I say is, look at my tweets. Is there one lie? BB wanted a meeting with me. Can you show them? All right, so this is on June 10th, 2023. One of BB's insiders asked to meet up with Ryan. He said, hey brother, good morning. I spoke with the Prime Minister BB. He would like to meet Ryan, period. And it's right here on text, y'all can see. So that's, and I'm not gonna get further into that. That's just proof. Now you have a little bit more proof of what I'm saying. They think I'm lying, but I'm totally not. But let's get back to boxing. Let's get back, okay. Let's get back to this and how this is gonna shape your boxing, you know what I'm saying, your camp and give you the motivation. You see Muhammad Ali, right? He standed up for something that was right. He felt like it wasn't right, and he went to jail for three years. I'm at the top of my career. I'm feeling the best at my game. I, I want, I'm, I'm gonna fight Devin Haney, and I will beat him. And that fight is gonna come on. Hmm. But this is a moment in time where we, the generation, we know the truth now. Yeah, and we can stand up for what's right. You hear the cries of the children. You hear them. I have babies. I have little kids out there. Mm. My, my own children, I can't imagine that happening. There is no clout that I get out of this. I was living fine, I was making great money. I had a lot of, I'm still making great money, but I had a lot of things going on. The same way they, the same way they came at Kanye. Kanye started telling the truth and they made him, they made him take pills. I'm not gonna take no pills. You're not gonna see me touch no pill. I would love to go live with a person, one person, just one, who's went through what I went through. And don't even worry about this because what the, what the Illuminati and the elites do is they take what God did and make it theirs. That's something they do. So eyes have a angels, bodies are covered with eyes. That, that supernatural ability to see everything, that's something God created. You're spiritual. 
being, your spiritual self, your sense. Mm. That's something God created. But let, bro, let them know how this is going to push you forward for the fight, man. Like how this is your motivation for this fight. Ezekiel, Ezekiel 10, 12, I believe it is. Look mm. it up if you don't believe me. Anything you say, I say, just look it up. Just look it up. Ezekiel 10, 12, please. Because everybody thinks this is a joke. It's like the movie, J Look Up. W what's that movie, Look Up? With, with Leonardo DiCaprio. And, and, he, and he's screaming to the world, yo, the world is, is about a... It, the world is ending. There's an asteroid coming. Everybody's like, yo, let's take some pictures. Remember, like the times of Noah. I'm going to speak this. Like the times of Noah, people will be drinking and people will be marrying and everything in life will be this, like, like normal. But God's calling up to his prophets and his people to speak of his return. So yeah, while you guys laugh and while you guys think this is a joke, why do you think Cat, Phil Cat Williams is exposing the truth? Why do you think so much truth is coming out? Hold on, hold on, let me just say something real quick though. Like, if if anybody is upset that Ryan is trying to shed light on child on children being sex trafficked, I think you are the one with the problem. I'm gonna just say that right now. And so with that being said, man, this whole camp is based on protecting the kids, saving the kids, and we're using that as motivation for this entire camp. So if you guys can't be, can't get behind that message, I think you need to look in the mirror because you yep. need help. They don't even know we've been training. Hmm. You don't want, uh, if I lift up my hood, you'll see a six pack. I've been training. Amen. Shout out my coach, Sid, TNT. TNT, baby. TNT. Let's go. My whole team's behind me. <laughs> if I show you my whole team, why do you think they're rocking with me? Why do you think they always, you know, they, they never deny me? Remember, the times will be like Noah. Oh, why every, why doors? Stories of giants coming out, stories of aliens. Can you open your eyes once? The proof is there. Is. I mean, I, I just personally want to say that the the proof is there. Well, let's get some. Let's get some. Uh, okay, I, I would I would love to get some questions. How do we start up questions? All right. So, let, first of all, let 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 let's first of all let me tell you. Let me say this. I don't think that Ryan Garcia is lying. I don't think he's lying. He is being a hundred percent honest. At least I believe that he's being a hundred percent honest. See, a lot of us are so delusional. We call other people that uh, we call other people delusional for coming out and speaking the truth. But it's hard to believe the truth in a world full of lies, bro. I'm telling you, this world is filled with a lot of lies, but it's only one truth. That truth is Jesus Christ. You have to open your eyes to truly see what he's talking about. A lot of people that believe in Jesus Christ, that are true followers of Jesus Christ, should I say? Because you can believe in Jesus Christ and still be naive to what he's saying but a lot of people that are true followers of jesus christ and stick to their word stick to their bible and read their word a lot of stuff that's in the bible is literally happening today and it's not it's not a coincidence it's not luck if you say that the bible was man-made then how in the world was things that was written long two thousand years ago is happening today it's being prophesied today you can't make it up you you literally can't you can't that chapter that the the chapter that he was talking about Ezekiel 10 12 that was the chapter about uh the angels being filled with eyes all over their body. I just have to look that up. I never read Ezekiel. I never read the book of Ezekiel to be honest, okay? I haven't read the entire Bible, but from what I did read in the Bible cuz I do uh I do attempt to stay in my word every single day because I know that that's the sword. That's how I'm going to get throughout my day. It be times where I miss my word and I can see the difference when I'm not in my word and when I've been in my word for the entire week. I can feel the difference. It's like a peace, bro. It's like nothing can come against me. But when I'm not in the word, it's like the devil already see that and he and he's just waiting for me to be lacking. You know what I'm saying? So I try to make a habit of staying in my word each and every day. So the stuff I have read, like Revelations, uh, Corinthians, uh, what was it? I think it was in Timothy, the book of Timothy, where it talks about all the things to come at the end times. I believe that was the book of Timothy. I, I want to say 2 Timothy. Uh, don't quote me on that, though. Don't quote me on that. But it is in a Bible where these things are coming to pass. A lot of things are starting to happen. And we say, hey, look at what's happening in the industry. These people are going crazy. These people are going crazy. But then when it's people that's been in the industry for some time and they coming out telling us, exactly what it is that we we see in other people we don't want to believe it we don't want to believe it. we want to call them the lulu we want to call them mental we want to say they have all these different problems but man y'all just need to open your eyes up to really see the truth you feel me i know that's uh that that uh human trafficking kid trafficking how all the trafficking is just terrible 
You know what I'm saying? The stuff is really happening out here, bro. You know what I'm saying? I feel like a lot of people in America, and uh, and it's, it's happening in the U.S., so I can't say a lot of people in America, but I do feel like majority of the people that live in the U.S. are so blind to what's really happening around them. They're, like, just in this little box. they just in their little box, and this is all they're doing. But, bro, y'all got to open y'all eyes up to see what's really happening around y'all. That's why, a lot, like, a lot of parents, y'all so, y'all so, like, confused and like naive to what's really happening on tiktok roblox y'all gotta really protect y'all kids at all costs but yet y'all don't y'all don't even y'all just sit there and watch the weather and, and see what the weather looking like all day long and y'all care about y'all kids grades but then y'all not looking at what y'all kids is watching on their ipad or their iphone like a kid should not have an iphone at the age of four you know what i'm saying like that just should not be a thing you feel me but a lot of times parents are so naive they allow their kids to just be all up on their phones don't even know what they're doing on roblox TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, like kids should not have any type of social media, bro. Y'all need to protect y'all kids because nine times out of ten, they go, they go be on these grown men are on Roblox trying to connect with little kids, trying to connect with little kids. This junk is real life happening, bro. This junk is real life happening. Like how he said, look at what happened with Kanye. We all thought Kanye was crazy. Now don't get me wrong, I had a thought that Kanye was crazy. I did, I did. I truly thought that he was crazy. But when he came out and he exposed the truth, and there's been a lot of times where in the past Kanye would say, if I ever go missing, just know that they did something to me. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, and Kanye been off the platform for a little minute. Now, I haven't heard a word from Kanye besides that little new album that he got coming out, I think, with his daughter or whatnot. But he just starts to look weird. You know what I'm saying? Like, Kanye just starts to act a little bit more weirder now. It's like, I don't know. I don't know exactly what's going on behind closed doors with Kanye, but all I know is that when he came out about the truth, things start to change, bro. Things start to change, you feel me? But shout out to Ryan Garcia, man, because he is speaking the truth, okay? And if you don't want to believe it, then you don't have to believe it. But best believe when these things start to come to pass, bro, they already come into pass. But when you start to open your eyes up and seek the truth, stop saying, I'm woke, I'm woke, bro. A lot of y'all say y'all woke and spiritual woke and all this and that, but y'all spiritually blind for real, for real. Y'all believing, y'all believing what the devil wants y'all to believe instead of believing what God is putting out there for you to see and believe. You know what I'm saying? This whole faith thing with Jesus Christ, this is not blind faith. This is not. If you do your history, if you do your research, if you actually just pick up the Bible and read it in the context, you go see that, oh, snap, this junk has, oh my gosh, this has to be the truth. It has to be the way, and it has to be the only way. You know what I'm saying? But anyways, man, like I said, shout out to Ryan Garcia for exposing this truth, for exposing the darkness that's really out here in this world that a lot of us are so blind and naive to. Without further ado, man, it's been your boy, Depend. I love each and every one of y'all, bro. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.